yourselves for raw honesty, unfiltered opinions, and a whole lot of fun. Tap in, learn, and love. This is On the Couch, where it's all about relationships with your host, Cynthia and Marcus Tucker. Hi, I'm your host, Cynthia Tucker. And I'm your co-host, Marcus Tucker. We've been married for 33 years. We have four children and we were almost divorced. But together, we've weathered every storm that's come into our lives. And we're a wealth of knowledge and wisdom because of the highs and lows of our life and love journey. So tap in, learn and love with us on the couch. You know, over the years, we have gotten so many questions all about relationships. And I kind of thought with the social media influencers, um, with all of these experts, that the questions would kind of stop, but they haven't. Actually, they've increased. So today, we're going to not only answer some of the most frequently asked questions, but we're going to give out our Tucker tidbits. This is how we foster and sustain successful relationships. And we have some very special guests. They're going to give their perspective on relationships. So you don't want to miss this. Let's go. Let's go. Tucker tidbits. Number one, communication. More importantly, effective communication. It's when you convey your feelings in an honest, constructive manner that leaves no room for misunderstanding or misinterpretation. Now this involves you utilizing active listening skills where you're attentively listening and you're not listening to interrupt, you're not formulating an opinion in your mind so that you can respond. You are literally listening so that you can understand and you can hear. Also do not interject. Number two, Number two, agreement. This is a powerful tool in your relationship. Uh, it's when you guys mutually agree. And here is the thing, when you guys can come together in agreement on a thing, on a place, on an action, mm -hmm. um, this gives you purpose. It gives you drive to your relationship. It's alignment that fosters harmony and syncopation. You know, harmony is like when two notes come together to form a chord. I like it. Syncopation is like when two rhythms come together to form a beat. Mm -hmm. it, okay, so in essence, it's like uh, two individuals, two totally different entities coming together, intertwining, and then ultimately becoming one. Number three, intimacy. So when you break that down to us, it simply means into me, see. It's a physical, emotional, and psychological closeness between partners. And this must be practiced yeah. and nurtured so that it can develop to a level of maturity. And I know somebody's probably saying, uh, what is mature intimacy? To us, it's the meaning of this. It's an understanding of yourself, your own desires, and then your partners. All right, you guys are in for a treat. Our wonderful special guests are here, Mr. and Miss Therone James. Make some noise in the building, at the house, wherever you are. You don't want to miss this. Tyra and TJ, we're so happy you're here. Well, actually, we're here with you in Atlanta. Right. Come on, we in the A. Yes. All right. Guys, Mrs. Tyra, oh my goodness, so many wonderful things that she's done already and she's looking like she's 21. You ain't gonna believe all the things she's done. Uh, she is a entrepreneur yes. just for a little bit, about 21 years, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, and I said she looked like she's 21. This is in person, it ain't the camera, I know. God bless you. She's a mother, oh my goodness, a mother, entrepreneur, six-time best-selling author. She's a life coach. Her and her wonderful husband, they do marital counseling together. And TJ, I'm not leaving you out, four decades as an educator. Four, four decades. Mm -hmm. Also a coach, did a little coaching in the NBA. We ain't gonna tell all his business, I'll let him do that. <laughs> but nonetheless, 
welcome. We're so welcome. glad. We're so welcome. glad that you guys are here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for thank having you. us. Thank you so yes. much. We're excited. We're excited. Aww. I want to talk about something that you guys have done in marital counseling uh, that was, to me, I think it was revolutionary. Mm -hmm. Usually when you do marital counseling, it's one-on-one -on -one with a pastor, um, with a um, expert or something of that nature. But you guys, in your great wisdom, yeah, and in your beautiful love of 31 years, do it together. You mm -hmm. do it together. Can mm -hmm. you talk about that? Um, first thing that we started as I'm a transformational life coach. So we, at one point in our marriage, we went through a separation. Oh wow! And so when we decided to get back together and to keep going, he says to me, I think it was day two, he goes, God said, we're going to be helping other couples. Oh, and I was wow. like, you better hope we make it. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, it's day two, we back together. <laughs> I don't even know yeah. if I like you right now. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this this right. is interesting because we did have a period where we decided that we did need to date and not just get back together. We really, wow. um, and, and it had been a year. And so we wanted to really make sure that we had taken a time for ourselves to grow. Wow. I worried about me and I did me and he did him. And so it was important that you, you know, you really take the time to be yeah. thorough with it. Yeah. And so, like I said, my profession, I'm a transformational life coach. So we all of a sudden started getting people calling me and saying to you, can you help? Can you help us? Like we had one couple called like 15 minutes after she found out about his infidelity. I'm like, you called me? Oh, and she goes, wow. yeah, I was led to call you. So of course we started and i told my husband i said i think i want you to join me i'm a coach and i think what we need to do is coach people into being married and how to be married and how to recover and how to grow together and like i said i'm a coach so that's what we decided to do and we decided to be truly authentic and real mm -hmm. and not lie about our journey yeah because i don't think that can help people when you are truthful yeah. and true. so true, true, we true. decided to do marriage coaching um like i said i'm a coach and that's what that's what happened and that was oh god so so many years ago now and we it's been such a it's, it's such a gift mm -hmm. to be able to help someone to keep going absolutely um, for me when we went through our issues, it wasn't all the things that caused the separation. Mm -hmm. What hurt me more than anything is all the potential that God put in us, we were failing. Oh, wow. And with both of us together, that crushed my heart. And mm -hmm. that's all we could offer to our daughter at the time was failure. And oh, wow. I just knew on the inside, we were so much bigger than that. Wow. And God created us to be, oh, just so much better than that. Yeah. And so yeah. that's what made me want to do it again this time, yeah. make sure I pass with flying colors. Yeah. So that's how the coaching came about. We decided to really help people and coach them and teach them how to communicate, yeah. like your tidbits, yeah. how to be honest, mm -hmm. and how to create a life together, yet mm -hmm. separate. Yeah. Um, when you have a building, in the building you have foundational pillars Absolutely. And they're never together. Mm -hmm. They're apart. Yeah. So you each have to have your own individual life. Yeah, truly, truly. And be tuned in and tapped in and turned on about you. Mm -hmm. And like attracts like. Yeah. So if mm -hmm. each person is doing that, like attracts like. Mm -hmm. So if he decided to go be and become amazing, and so did I, and that's why we're still sitting Ooh. here. Number four, trust. Trust is the oxygen that every relationship needs. It's built on honesty, consistency, and reliability. It's being able to convey your feelings without fear or judgment. Yeah. It's safety, security, and mutual respect in a relationship that cultivates over time. Yeah, truly, truly. Number five, honesty. It's just simply being truthful. 
It's accountability. It's, you know, taking ownership of your own actions. So what you got to do when you're being honest, you got to stand in it. Don't stand on business. I'm just playing. Stand in it. Yes, stand on business. Walk in it and live in it. Number six, respect. This is valuing your partner's thoughts and their feelings. Now, it's easy for us to talk about what we bring to the table. Yeah, but you have to honor what not only you bring to the table. And I know some of our beautiful women are probably yelling, I'm the whole table. God bless your heart and all your parts. Nonetheless, it's honoring what you bring to the table and what your partner brings to the table in the relationship. It's also not only that, but it's the act of refraining from demeaning, belittling and controlling behavior. I love it. That's our Tucker tidbits. I still remember it like yesterday when I said to her that the Lord told me restoration. Oh, wow. You know, and men, we are so prideful yes. about Uh-oh. what we do and how we do things. You better be and transparent. I, and, and, I, and I realized in order for a man to be delivered, mm-hmm. he has to be vulnerable and open Wow. and be honest with himself first. And so... I realized in order for me to make this marriage work, I had to be that person. Wow. And I didn't realize how selfish that I was in our relationship because a lot of times men, we think as we're providing, we're doing this, mm-hmm. but, but what are you doing to really help your family? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of times what we do, we don't realize it affects more than just one person. Yeah, yeah that's mm-hmm. good. It's That's more good. than one person. Oh, that is really And good. then I realized that we had a beautiful daughter with Logan, and how can I let her down? Yeah, wow. shout out to Logan. How could I let her down? <laughs> and when when we sat down at a dinner, I can, <laughs> this is priceless. This is so funny. So she said to me, write a letter. Uh, no, he asked uh, her right, to dinner. Yeah, I asked oh, her out okay. for a date. Okay. And she said, I want you to make a list of the things that you want in our marriage to change and happen. <laughs> I came with a script. So let for, me set the stage. <laughs> she had, she had a novel. My girl. This, this is the honest to God truth. This is what happened. He <laughs> asked me out on a date, and we still weren't back together. Okay. Right. And I actually had separational, separation, a legal separation documents oh, right. to give him. Oh, wow. And so he's talking about going to dinner, and I'm talking about, I'm going to get you these papers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so yes. I said, uh, okay. And he said, I said, so I told him, he said, please just give me a chance. Just, you know, let's just get together. I said, okay, you write down your vision for your life and what you want. And I'm going to write down mine. Mm-hmm. And then let's just go to dinner and see. Right. So we get there. I got 10 pages. He has one. I was like, I knew oh. it. I knew it. Oh, and I was like, you have one page? And so this is honest to God's true. Yes. And so he goes, he's looking at me. He goes, yeah, I have one. And I said, okay. He goes, just, just hear it out though. So I read mine. And so his was a perfect summary of, of what, everything that, of you, everything that yeah. you know, I said. And I said, okay, so let's go from here. So let's just take it easy and, uh, and, and slow and to be sure. And so when he read what I decided for my life and what I wanted and what I was going to be intentional about, a lot of times women pray for a husband, but I was praying to be a wife, Mm -hmm. a better wife and not for, it's just two totally different Mm -hmm. things. And so when he read it, he goes, I can be this man. Oh, wow. Please give me a chance. And I said, you know, my response was, it really doesn't matter if you, this man or not, this is my husband. Right. And so... I said, okay, and hand to God about two years later, I was in my dining room cleaning and God said, go get the paper. And I read the paper and he was that man. Oh, right. Wow. And he right. was that yeah. man. Right. And so what made him, I told him, I said, our daughter is going to be attracted to the same type of man you are. Ooh, and wait. if you want her to have something different, then you have to be different. Right. Yeah, and absolutely. so he, you know, decided that he wanted her to see something amazing. And the same sex parent is the most influential. Mm -hmm. So I also knew that my responsibility was to show her a strong woman who loves herself Mm -hmm. and who has her own identity. Mm -hmm. And it was important to me 
and your identity is where you dent, where I dent in this world. Yes. And yes. I needed to make sure she saw that yeah. so that she would do the same thing. And yeah. that's, you know, what happened. So we had dinner and, you know, kind of like the rest is history. Beautiful. And But we've been still very mindful mm -hmm. that you are an individual. Yeah. Sure. And, and you have to be an amazing person, your own self. Yeah. And requiring TJ to make me happy is giving him too much power. power. I'm I'm giving sure. my power away, yeah. and it's my yeah. responsibility. Right. Yeah. So we don't try to make each other happy. We just make ourselves happy, and in return, I get to be what a happy person. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so, amazing and, yeah. Amazing. Yes. Right. And power. so, um, so we, you know, when we coach married couples, we really set the foundation of, number one, liking each other mm -hmm. and being friends. Yeah. And Tita and I were never nasty to each other, even in mm -mm. our separation. We went to our pastor and he was like, well, I don't know what to do. You guys aren't arguing and fighting and, you know, and, and crying. And so what am I? I'm like, we already did that in the house. There's no need to come in here acting like that. Yeah. And so yeah. we did. And um, he was like, well, don't tell anybody. And oh, wow. I was so turned off by that. And I was like, everybody already know. We're just telling you. <laughs> right. Right. You're the last one to know. Last right. one to know. And what I realized is that that's the exact reason why that people aren't comfortable with going. Yeah. Because you want to keep it hush-hush. Yeah. And some things yeah. need to be talked about. Yeah. Right. And so that was just us. Uh, so we just decided just to be truthful about it and here we are and we're so grateful and thankful yes. Yes. to god mm -hmm. you know that he restored our so we really help other couples really define who they are yeah. right and really get a whole vision for them mm -hmm. and get uh, tuned in and tapped and turned so, on about them yes. right and then it's very easy to then mm -hmm. coincide with someone yeah. else who is you know you know, the foundational stuff to listening and supporting and not only supporting, but being invested. Right. And that was an issue with us that Chide has always been so supportive, but I'm like, you're not invested. Mm -hmm. I was invested in you and your career. He coached for 25 years and wow. he's taught school for 41 years. Wow. And I have been Thank invested you. You. in him. Yes. So he said, you're right. And I need to be invested in you and your business. And uh, I've had my own business since 2000, so wow. um, it's been wonderful. I mean, honestly, sometimes I can't even believe I get to, this is what you God what you created love. me to yeah. do. Yeah. Wow. Amen. And yeah. <clears throat> so we've had definitely our um, amazing highs and mm -hmm. also very, very lows. Um, but at the end of the day, I say to myself, and, and I've said to other people, sometimes I look at them and go, I can't believe I get to be married to you. Oh, and then right. sometimes Sweet. I look at them and go, I cannot believe I'm married to you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. But it's, yes. it goes yes. both so ways. True. So to yes. sit up and say it doesn't is just not being honest. Yes. You know? And I know he does the same, like, oh my God. This sister <laughs> right this, here. Ooh, right. We. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. Yeah. He's Aww. such a nice guy. Right. Love journey. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. That's yes. a beautiful love journey. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I have a question. Um, yes. well, well, I just kind of got, got, want you guys to expound on this. Yes. I know when we're helping people and we're talking about mm -hmm. relationship and mm -hmm. things of that nature, the highs are always there. Mm -hmm. The True. highs are, is something that kind of make everybody high. Mm -hmm. It's what you live for. Mm -hmm. You live for the vacations, for the good times, yes. for the family times or whatever. Yes. It's the lows mm -hmm. that really define mm -hmm. your love for one another. Yes. It's the lows that really define what you really have down on the inside mm -hmm. of you. Mm -hmm. It's a, I, I just not even just in marriage, but in every aspect of life. Mm -hmm. It was when I was at low points that I really found out what I was made of, mm -hmm. that I really found out what I'm capable of, mm -hmm. what I really found out what I can do. So I just want you guys to kind of expound on that because I think the lows is kind of in our experience what really help oh, other couples yes. because mm -hmm. then they find parallels to their situations mm -hmm. and what how how they can take 
what you did mm -hmm. to come up out of that thing yeah. mm -hmm. and, and apply it to their life or mm -hmm. their situation. And, and, you know, you don't have to get specific, mm -hmm. but just, you know, what did you do or what mm -hmm. measures did you put in place to kind of, <laughs> A, come out of the lows mm -hmm. right, and B, ensure that you don't return in those spaces? Mm -hmm. right. Oh, good. I'll I just share, that's a really good question yeah um, I share from the male perspective the first time we were separated I had my apartment mm -hmm. and I sat in that apartment I had two bedrooms because I wanted room for my daughter oh, and wow. I sat yeah. there the first week mm -hmm. and I'm thinking like how quiet I could hear echoes mm -hmm. and just talking to myself about where I put us mm -hmm. Oh, you wow. heard what I said, us. Yes. Wow. Not me. I said us because it was a package deal. Wow. Ownership. So the first thing I did, no lie, I went to find <laughs> candles mm. that smelled like my old home. Wow. Oh, wow. Crying in the store, trying to find these clean linen <laughs> candles because oh, wow. I wanted my place to smell like our home. Right. Oh, wow. And I made sure I found those found them in every room. Hmm. And still with that smell, it was not home. It wasn't right. it. Wasn't it wasn't enough. home because nobody's saying, TJ, go get this. <laughs> TJ, what you doing? You know, I, I needed that sound. I needed yeah. that, her voice. Yeah. So I, I, I got the pillows like she had at the house, tried to make everything be like it was. Oh, wow. And I laid in there and bawled and bawled and bawled. It says, that was my low, mm -hmm. that no matter what I did material-wise, mm -hmm. I can never get that. Yeah. And that was my wake-up call. You can buy anything in the world, bro. You can't have that. Yeah. Wow. Because that, that's, that's not money. That's, that's life-changing. And so, and just imagine that I would spend the rest of my life trying to buy things to replace this woman. Yeah. I mm -hmm. couldn't do it. And I was at my lows. Wow. No lie. True story. I would drive past, past her place and I would sit in the car and wait till she went to bed at night when I saw the lights come off. And I, when, she, when her lights went off, then I would go home. I couldn't rest knowing that she's not where she needs to be. Mm -hmm. So I would be, she said, every night, every night. It's a little stalkerish. Yeah. Yes. A little bit of stalker, yes. but I love See, it. For <laughs> months. For months oh now. God. It was a six months, wasn't it? You were separated. Well, six we were separated months? twice. Twice. Once, once for four months and once for a year. So yes. he so the year, that's when he was doing it. During, oh, I couldn't take that it. Time. Yeah. And oh. so this is what happened with the candles and the pills. Here's the backstory. So he asked my daughter, What's the smell? What's the name of the candles? Your mom? Ask her. So Logan comes home. She had you know, been with him for the weekend. She comes home. She goes, Mom, Dad wants to know the name of the candle. No, she's going to tell it. And I said, oh, tell him. Oh, no. That comes with us. Yeah. The uh -huh. name of that. Yeah. So he kept searching and searching it. So he, you know, I guess got a scent that was similar. But it was so funny when she came home and asked. And so he asked me during that time, weren't you then there crying? I go, oh, no. I wasn't. Yeah. I said, I wasn't crying. I wasn't thinking about you. I was thinking about me and yeah. what I needed to do. I cried in the house. Did you forget? So when I left, I was good. Yeah, I was like, I'm this all is cried what I, out. So I'm what systems? Right what system or systems? <laughs> yes. Give us one. Give us one system that you have in place now that would prevent you guys going back to that place that my baby just said. Uh, mm -hmm. My love just said it's like a low. Was a low for you? Mm -hmm. um, that was, uh, you know. That was probably the lowest, or I would say the lowest. Um, the system that we decided is that we will never stop growing. I think not growing is the greatest sin. So we have vowed that we grow daily. Yeah. Uh, first with ourselves and then with each other. And that's our system, is that we work at it. And wow. if it doesn't add or multiply to our life, it doesn't belong in our life. And that's, that's our bottom that. line. That's great. Yeah. I love it. And it's about it. um, the positivity. I mean, I, I wake up ready to roll in the morning. On 10. On 10. 
What up? Let's go. This is me all day, every day. <laughs> and on team. On team. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I always make sure we never go to bed at night without saying I love you. Oh, so we sweet. We never go to bed at night without the kitchen clean at night. <laughs> okay. okay. House rules. Come on. House Come rules. On. House rules. And I never leave the house without saying her to her, have a nice day. The choice is yours. Oh, mm. wow. Every day. Because she gets to choose that. Oh, wow. And I'll call her every day. To say I love you. So I just want to hear your voice mm -hmm. every day. Wow. I call her. Oh wow! This work quick moment. Just I hope y'all hearing this. I, I hope y'all hearing <laughs> yeah. this every day. Every day. It makes a difference. Every Positive day. affirmations. Yeah. Speaking positively about yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, having that time for each other, mm -hmm. so that you're growing and you're actively invested mm -hmm. and involved in each other's life. And right. it's just not lip service, but it's something that you're actually doing. Right. I think the, the greatest lesson, and I want to share with everybody, that I learned during that time um, is I read um, your, the four love languages. And what I learned is that it's not important for me to love TJ how I want to love TJ. Mm -hmm. I have to love TJ according to what his, yes. and that's a huge sacrifice yes. because most people want to love you the way they, they want to love, love you. you. Right. Yeah. And it takes time mm. and effort and to be thoughtful and intentional to do that. Because if your love language is time and I never spend time with you, you won't perceive it or receive it as love. Right. No matter what I do. And so that's important. And not only in marriage, in friendship with mm. our children, I had to learn my daughter's love language and love her the way she needs to be loved, yeah. not the way I want to love mm -hmm. her. Yeah. And I think that was huge in our relationship is that we decided to love each other the way we both needed to be loved. Two things, two things, and we're going to let these lovely people go. Uh, and we're going to let you guys go because we want <laughs> you to come back. Um, one, it is like a pandemic. It's epic how... Mm -hmm. We see so many couples that have been married 20, 25 years, yes. and they call it quits. Mm -hmm. um, I, ooh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it, that, yes. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. So you guys, again, have been married 31 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. Yes. 31 yes. years. <laughs> so, TJ, tell me some tips that we can give our people that's, uh, hey, this is going to keep you together. I'm going to tell you something. My mom told me this, and I've never forgotten it. She said, it's those little things are bigger than the big things. Mm -hmm. So whatever you did to date Tyra, oh. those little things matter more than anything. The detail. Mm -hmm. And so I make sure I do the little things. Her love language is acts of service. She likes when her brother cleans up, oh, come on. has responsibility around the home. Come on. So I, you know, I make sure she don't have to do nothing. If she cooks, I'm cleaning up. Everything's back in order. Oh, so sweet. I know what she likes this house to be a certain way. She ain't ever got to say nothing to me. T, it's a done deal. Yeah, it. I, I don't know you, if you guys can see. Honey, I don't hesitate. Out of a magazine. It's really just teamwork. Better homes it's, than garbage. It's garden. togetherness. <laughs> teamwork. But teamwork. I realize those little things matter more than anything in the world. Mm -hmm. and, and I just continue to date her. You know, when we go out, yeah. people they think that we, that. people think it's our first, I tell people, it's our first day, I'm trying to, you know, hook up with this girl, <laughs> you know, to see if she going to get my second date. And Can y'all yeah. help me out? Yeah, yeah. most on, of the time, me. the waitress go like, for real? Oh, oh my, my God, God, you guys are getting along so well, too. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get that second date. Yeah. So wow. I do the little things that has so really sweet. keep us going. Yeah, so oh, sweet. Wow. All right, here's number two. And Tyra, you start with this, uh, if you would. Now, we have a debate all the time. Okay. He likes to debate me. I don't know why, but he does. <laughs> he does this to me. He likes to debate that men love harder than women. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Let me think about that. While you're thinking, can you give us that perspective? Because he keeps giving so, it to me. Let share okay, with okay. me. My perspective on that is this. Um, when a man falls in love with a woman, there's almost like a weight. That's all. It's like, oh man, I love her. Mm -hmm. Now, 
everything is about to change mm-hmm. because I love her mm-hmm. and I can't see a life without her. Mm-hmm. In my experience with women, it's more, you guys have your lives planned out. Yes. By 30, I want to have this. By 35, I want to be, I want to be married by this time. And it's just like, insert the guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And whatever he's not, or I'll, I'll work on that. I'll mm-hmm. change that. I'll do, and it's, mm-hmm. and it, and with men, it's kind of different it's because, it, because of that, I feel that women are kind of more interchangeable with whoever that is. Mm-hmm. Men are kind of like, I can't live without that one right there. Mm-hmm. And because of it is like a weight on me. I got my whole life is about to change. Mm-hmm. And that's just my perspective mm-hmm. on it. Um, Side eye, shady palm trees to him. Here's my take on it. I think number one, when a a man has decided to (laughs) be vulnerable and say, you know what, I love her. Men look how women can fit in their life. Absolutely. And women, when we fall in love, we're just open, Mm -hmm. right? And and very quick and not afraid to say that. Mm-hmm. I think for a man to then come t- to the realization that, hey, I love this woman and I want her in my life, it just takes you all a little longer to yeah. say it. So it might feel that you love harder because it took you longer to say it. Mm-hmm. Um, but for a woman we don't mind saying I love you. I actually told TJ I love him maybe two weeks. And but I but tell them what I said to you. About knowing that the fact that you, she knew she was gonna marry me. In she two knew that. weeks? Well I knew I was gonna marry she knew him that. right away. God told me I would marry TJ right away. Mm-hmm. And he was in another relationship and so he so I didn't care. My one of my friends was cracking up. She's like he don't want you. He has a whole other woman <laughs> And I said, well, it don't matter. God told me I'm going to marry him. So I didn't even think nothing of it. But when I told you that I love him, I said, I love you. And I'm telling you that I love you. But I'm not telling you that I love you for you to tell me right. that you love me. Right. And it's okay if you don't love me. Okay. I love you because I, I want to love you. And I didn't try to hide that I loved him. Wow. And, and then I told him, so a little bit later on, we went on a date and I told him, I said, God told me I'm going to marry you. And he, he didn't call me no more. <laughs> okay. That's if you, right, yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. right? That's if you have so one on, we're all Christians. So, yeah, right? yeah, 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 no, yeah. We're not spooky, crazy people. Right. And so he, um, but it, it was okay. I was fine with that, you know. And I knew, I just knew that. And it didn't even bother me that he didn't know it yet. And wow. so I just think that men... It takes them a long time to be honest right. about, you know, that they really love this one and to let any other one go. Yeah. So yeah. they may feel that they're so vulnerable, that it's so deep and heavy. Yeah. It just yeah. took you longer to be honest yeah. with yourself about. You knew right away. Yeah, he knew. You you knew. He already knew I, I was the one. I, mean, I, I knew right away. Yeah. I, I, I just feel with women it's more. Now I will I, say I mean, that it's. I love you, but you know, I can love him too. And mm-hmm. you keep acting up. Right. <laughs> right. Men are oh, like that. Wow. Yeah. Men are like that. Yeah. I, it's like, I love well, you. Side eye, shady you know, palm tree. Listen, that's Side eye, shady that's palm tree. That's the difference that, you know, a man, a, men can be in relationships and not really love, you know. Yeah. Women are different. We yes. tend to, you know, we There's are, an emotional attack. Yeah, we, yes. Attack. Yes. 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 So yes. We, we, don't, we don't have a lot of. Yes. Yeah. You said it best. Uh, and, and your theory on men loving harder than women has mm-hmm. been debunked. We've established <laughs> that here. No, no. We've established that right here. To We've established that. To Thank you. Right. These He's are our experts. Come on, come on. You cannot <laughs> deny what the experts have said. Yes, that has been debunked. Well, Thank you so whole, kindly. Their whole thought process, process mm-hmm. on love and that, and even forgiveness. I think that women forgive quicker than a man. A oh, man, absolutely. You can do the same thing and yeah. he won't forgive you. Yes. And he will move on, whereas a woman will, you know, be much more nurturing right. and no, forgiving. Right, I do believe. Yeah, we got that stick and stay. We got that stick and stay. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I believe I'm uh, I'm with her on that. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I love He's it. agreeing. I love it. Yeah. He has a yeah. spirit of agreement upon I love him. It. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Nice, nice. Yeah. nice. <laughs> Thank you guys so You're much so for welcome. your time, yes. for your gift yes. of relationships, being mm -hmm. an expert in so many fields, entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. You guys are parents of a yes. beautiful baby. Well, she's not she's a baby 28. anymore. She's 28 yeah. Yeah. forever. Listen, to anybody that's watching us, you know <laughs> when you become a parent, you're a parent yeah, for you're life. Forever. Yeah. They're That's your children man, forever. Yeah. So yeah. don't think because they're 18, they're gone. No, right. you guys are parents, yes. entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. uh, wonderful careers. Thank you. Yeah, and beautiful people inside and out. Thank, Thank you so again much. for allowing us to be here. <laughs> in, yes. In, yes. Yes. In the yes. A, Better Homes and Garden. That's what I'd like Aww. to say. I'm putting them up for an award. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> One more time, people, give it up for Mr. and Mrs. Theron James. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you all so much. Appreciate, Appreciate y'all. Love you. Thank you all.